I'm Darren Marlar, and this is a Weird Darkness Bonus Bite. From the Daily Record, Woman Reveals Loch Ness Monster Pictures After Being Too Scared to Show Them by Mike Merritt and Lynn Love The woman who captured the most exciting photographs ever of the Loch Ness Monster have been revealed after she was too scared to show them. In startling images, she Kelly captured an unidentified large eel-like creature slowly spinning on the surface of the legendary loch. Translator Chi, 51, was taking photographs of the area at Doris when she and her businessman husband Scott, 68, saw a strange creature move right to left over a distance of about 100 meters. Mrs. Kelly was so shocked by what she saw on August 13, 2018, that she feared public ridicule and did not share the images. But she was inspired by the recent biggest search for Nessie in over 50 years, in which hundreds of volunteers took part. It was then that she plucked up the courage to show her startling photographs to veteran Nessie hunter Steve Feltham, who has set a world record for the longest vigil of looking for the Loch Ness Monster, now over 30 years long from his Doris base. And he was astounded at the photo. Mrs. Kelly was on holiday with her family from Ascot in Berkshire at the time of the sighting. The family have since moved to near Fortos on the Black Isle. My husband was originally from the Inverness area, and Doris Beach is a very special place to me as it was where he used to take me when we first met," said Japanese-born Mrs. Kelly. We had lunch in the Doris Inn and then started walking around. I was just taking pictures with my Canon camera of Scott and our daughter Alyssa, who was then five, when about 200 meters from the shore, moving right to left at a steady speed, was this creature. It was spinning and rolling at times. We never saw a head or neck. After a couple of minutes, it just disappeared, and we never saw it again. At first I wondered if it was an otter, or a pair of otters, or a seal, but we never saw a head, and it never came up again for air. It was making a strange movement on the surface. We did not hear any sound. There were these strange shapes below the surface. I could not make out any colors. The water was dark. I could not accurately assess its length, but the two parts that were visible were less than two meters long together. I don't know what it was, but it was definitely a creature, an animal. At the time, I did not want to face public ridicule by making the photographs public. But I met Steve Feltham at the weekend and showed him the images, and he said immediately that they were very interesting. I've always believed there was something in Loch Ness, there's something unusual there, but I don't know what it is. What I saw looked like a serpent, it was definitely a creature, and it was moving. Mr. Feltham said, These are the most exciting surface pictures of Nessie I've seen. They are exactly the type of pictures I've been wanting to take for three decades. It is rare to see something so clear on the surface. They are a vindication for all the people who believe there's something unexplained in Loch Ness. They are remarkable. I've studied them and still do not know what it is. We're lucky the Kellys have decided to go public at last. I have met the Kellys twice, and they are absolutely genuine. I persuaded them that these pictures were so important that they should make them public. They warrant further investigation. It's not driftwood. It is a moving creature and totally unexplained. It is 90 years since the Loch Ness Monster modern phenomenon began. On April 14, 1933, hotel managerus Mrs. Aldi McKay reported seeing a whale-like fish in the waters of Loch Ness. As she and her husband drove, she glanced out across the still calm waters towards Aldery Castle. There in the water, she saw something. Mrs. McKay's sighting was reported in the Inverness Courier on May 2, 1933 by Alex Campbell, the water bailiff for Loch Ness and a part-time journalist. It's widely regarded as the first modern sighting of a monster in the Loch. In 2019, Professor Neil Gemmel, a geneticist from the University of Otago in New Zealand, trawled Loch Ness and found no evidence of plesiosaur DNA. However, he did find lots of eel DNA and posited that there might be giant eels in Loch Ness, which might be behind the Nessie sightings. Unfortunately, DNA gives no indication of size. In 2020, startling images of a large creature inhabiting the depths of Loch Ness were captured on sonar off Invermoriston by skipper Ronald McKenzie aboard his Spirit of Loch Ness tourist boat. They were said by Feltham then to be the most compelling evidence of the existence of a Loch Ness monster. It left experts astounded by the clarity of the image of an object, estimated then to be 32 feet long, hovering 62 feet above the bottom and over 500 feet down. Leading sonar expert Craig Wallace described the sonar images as very curious, large, clear, and distinct contacts, all strangely near to the lock bed and 100% genuine. According to Google, 
There are around 200,000 searches each month for the Loch Ness Monster and around 120,000 for information and accommodation close to Loch Ness. The monster mystery is said to be worth 30 million pounds to the region. Irish missionary St. Columba is first said to have encountered a beast in the River Ness in 565 AD. There have been five official sightings this year of the Loch Ness Monster. The official register has now logged 1,160 sightings, including webcam images from records and other evidence stretching back through the centuries. One of the most well-known photographs of the Loch Ness Monster later proved to be a hoax. British surgeon Colonel Robert Wilson came forward with a picture that appeared to show a sea serpent rising out of the water of the loch. Wilson claimed he took the photo early in the morning on April 19, 1934, while driving along the northern shore of Loch Ness. The object in the water was not a form of marine life, it was a toy submarine outfitted with a sea serpent head. This was revealed in 1994, when Christian Sperling, before his death at the age of 90, confessed to his involvement in a plot to create the famous surgeon's photo a plot that involved both Marmaduke Wetherill and Colonel Wilson. Find the link to the original story, which also includes photos of what we just talked about, in the show notes. And find more strange, funny, or disturbing news in the Weird News and blog at WeirdDarkness.com.